Hey everybody, Superfluous Jay here, playing more into the breach, and we are playing with the Rift Walkers. We've got the combat mech uh, by, piloted by Morgan. She had, can do four damage on the first turn, and then every turn after that, because of this, uh, she's going to be doing five damage, very likely, if she can get a kill. We've got Henry Kwan, who uh, we, we brought into this timeline, went doing uh, two damage with his mech, and that's nice. And we've got uh, viewer Ricardo here on the artillery, which is, so far just basic. Uh, we've also got Joel sitting in the wings if somebody dies or if I don't really like a uh, level up, which doesn't seem possible, uh, likely at least. Uh, Joel's um, going to retire at some point uh, in the game. But let's go ahead and leave our island and go to island two, which uh, I had already decided is going to be this island, and I don't think that's going to change. We could do the bot leader, but I don't really want to deal with uh, armor. And we could do the sign leader, but honestly, I don't not a fan of the sign leader. Uh, <laughs> just just not. So I think we're going to go for RST and then uh, just get out of here. I don't like the boss on RST, but I don't like any of the bosses, so you, you, you go with what you got. Uh, we are going to defend the train first here, I think, because I don't want um, power when we've got a full grid, and I don't want to take a, a one if I, if I can avoid it. So we're going to avoid it by defending the train and the robotics lab. And the robotics lab is annoyingly on the side of the train, <laughs> on this side of the tracks, but there's not much I can do about it. Um, the sign is already out, and uh, we want Morgan. Morgan can do four damage, so ideally Morgan's going to kill this person this turn. That's the goal, and I think we're going to put the artillery way back here. Uh, that allows the artillery to reach every single square that really matters, uh, at least at this point in the game. In fact, chances are I'm going to be going here. Annoyingly, the punching was to be done on this vec, and it can't be now. Um, so, luckily though, we can do this. We can do this. We're not going to be able to protect the robotics lab, which is super annoying. Um, but we just have to hope that <laughs> we get a one in what it was one in. Seven chance. Nope, we just lost the robotics. We did block a spawn though, so the, the train is uh, the train's in pretty good hands, and we can use the robotics lab. That's funny that he did that, but what am I gonna do? Uh, we can use the robotics lab as a uh, battery to bump people into. So that works. Annoying that we, we've lost the we've lost the island here like in the first turn. But yeah, the, the the way the vet came out, that was just that was nasty. That's a little annoying. Oh, it's very annoying. Uh yeah, we're gonna have to do this to protect him. And then you can just punch him. And you can punch him and shoot him to, to get him out. And Morgan now has her level up, so let's see what she got. Yeah, yeah, failed the robotics lab. Technician, uh, she gains one hit points at the start of the turn. Not a fan of that one. If she didn't have her other thing, I would think about swapping her. <laughs> uh, do not kill the volatile vec. Not a fan of that one. Our whole deal is doing damage. So do I want to get one stupid power or do I want to do two grid defense? I think I'm going to go for two grid defense. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm unhappy, as it were. I think the artillery's going to stay on this rank just because you can get everywhere. I doubt any flyers would get over here, but if they do, I wouldn't mind the ability for the artillery rank to take care of them. Okay, you can do four damage. So the only one you can actually kill is this one. And... I think we're going to do that. That'll kill the that'll kill the scion there, and then I think we're gonna do this. Actually, this, which which does the same thing as this, except for it doesn't damage you. And then we're gonna do this, which lights, you know, lights that square on fire. But who cares? The important thing is more than has boost. And now the vec on the unifier, so we got that guy. Okay, Morgan can kill this guy, which is nice. And we actually want to leave this guy alone if we can't kill him, so let's just do one damage. 
You murder this guy, and you murder this guy. Easy peasy. You might want to think about swapping uh, you two so, so Ricardo can get some experience. This Vec just insists on killing itself, so I'm going to allow that. <laughs> um, okay, so we can actually get some get some hit points here, or some experience points here by doing... Actually, not that. We can do this. You can shoot him. You can dunk him. And then you can block a spawn. Yeah, you can, you can take that. Okay, if at all possible, we're going to dunk this guy in the water. And that's not possible at all. So the next possibility would be, can we get one damage on him? And the answer to that is no. So... <laughs> oh! I didn't see him up there! Wow, that sucks. Not only could the artillery mech have shot him, but I just took two grid damage because of it. I got the two grid damage back, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Ah, uh, defend the terraform. I probably shouldn't be playing. This, that's, a, that's a sign. The game is telling me, hey, uh, maybe you should uh, not play. I'm going to move the, uh, the prime over here so he can get all the way down here if this guy's attacking this and he can uh, he can't get here which is annoying so if the if the vec is here if he goes here we can't address him so I'm actually gonna put you here that way you could punch him this way or the the well, actually no we could we could use this thing so yeah there we go. well never mind I confirmed instead of undoing um, yeah it's a it's a reason there's I'm, I'm nitpicking compared to the way I'm playing. Of course, he goes exactly where I wanted him to, or where I thought he would go. So, you could get there to kill him. If we do something like this. We're gonna do this. You're going to come here. I can count. I thought he had four hit points. Okay, that changes everything. Let's go ahead and punch him <laughs> to get your get your experience. Let's do this. Go these two. You are going to move back one and light him on fire. And you are going to block this area here and for no good reason shoot him. <laughs> okay, how many hit points do you have? If you have five, I would like the Prime to take care of you. You have four, I still probably want the Prime to take care of you. I think we're just going to do one damage to you. But first, address you. Let's address you. And then let's address you. And then, oh, we have to pick up the, uh, we have to pick up the time pot. You can't leave that time pot on the ground there. That would be bad. Okay, luckily, he's not doing anything. He has five hit points, so we have to address that. That'll take care of the time pod. Okay, we can do this. That'll kill two people. Then you can murder him with no problems. And you can do yet another game with him. And then, uh, repair. Why not? That leaves us with, uh, three enemies on the final round. You can just kill him finally. Yep. You can do this. We're gonna do it so that you get the, get the kill. And you're gonna get the kill. You're gonna get a kill. Everybody gets a kill. Except for the terraformer. <laughs> but it got plenty of kills beforehand, so we're, we're pretty lucky. Okay, so. After a, after a, a couple bad missions here, we, we got a good one. Um, 
totally totally owned for once and we get uh, move again after shooting not a bad skill and unlocked in the hangar which is always nice um, and now we've got um, three missions four missions that I don't actually care about uh, so we're just gonna pick the easiest sounding one um, Five or fewer enemies in a lightning storm. That's bad. Uh, two Vec egg sacks in a sandstorm. I'm not a super fan. Do not kill the volatile Vec. I think I'm going to do that one. Uh, we're going to spend our extra power. I would like her to have dash eventually. So let's give her a move this time. I guess we're going to not kill the volatile Vec. Uh, we're going to do this. You have five hit points, so we're going to want to punch you with the prime. And then this. I don't want the vault effect to be able to web you. Because you're the one who's moving the vault the vault. Well, that was not what I expected. Although, this gives me an opportunity to do this. Which puts you down to four hit points. That's a okay. Oh, technician came in handy. That's a rarity. <laughs> um, this is annoying. We're gonna have to shoot you with the <laughs> with the uh This is actually very bad. Because if you punch him he dies, which is a loss of a of a mission goal. If you shoot him this way first, we can't move this guy anywhere except Okay, I, I see what I need to do. You need to come back here. And move him. Then you... And then you can come up here and... Yeah, that technician ability would be great on... Uh, Now, this is less than ideal. I don't think you can get over here. You could not. Okay, this will take care of those two. So let's go. And then you just have to do this, and then you don't have a move, which is always annoying. <coughs> and let's see what the final turn gives us here. Okay, this is actually okay, I suppose. We are going to shoot you. Um, you're going to kill him, and you're going to take three damage. Right, that'll kill you. Actually, no. You're going to take one damage from him. Yeah, well, his one damage is going to push you. The Vault of X is going to go first and miss. Then his one damage is going to push you out of the way. Oh, yeah, no, out of the way of this guy who's then going to bump into him. So, yeah, we're fine. Him. Him knock him back. And he survived the battle. Yeah, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. We'll push him out of the way so that this guy doesn't actually do it. I'm not a fan of not killing Vic, but we kind of had to that time. <coughs> Our defense went up, so yay. Uh, let's go ahead and take out this guy who sucks. Uh, he has five hit points, so if we can do one damage to him, we can kill him on the first turn with you. Uh, which is going to be the goal. Uh, I'm going to bring you here, but not around this way. To He's going to go this way. So let's just accept that. At most, he's er, at, if he doesn't go this way, he's going to stand here. And he's not going to stand here. Okay. Um, this is actually an opportunity. A good opportunity, because he can kill this guy, or at least move him. No, he'll kill him. So yeah, let's let's shoot this guy. That way he'll kill this thing. We don't have to worry about it. Now you're gonna go here and shoot him, and then you're gonna go here, punch him, and the boss is now dead. That all makes me. And you get a kill here, and you can kill him. And I think that's fine. The only problem is, is you don't have a move, but you kind of do. 
And then you can get another kill. Oh, yeah, you can get another kill. And Too bad he, he is here this, <laughs> this way, not that way, because it'd be fun to do himself. Okay. You are gonna do. Can you get down there? You can. You're gonna do this. And then you're just gonna block a spawn. And take a damage so that when you block that spawn, you die. We're left with one guy. Who we probably can't kill. Do that and that, but that's it, because you cannot get down there, so yeah. Oh well. Sestlevi. <coughs> and we finished this map in semi record time. Um, this is like uh what's the what's the squad? Blitzkrieg <laughs> kind of time. Uh we don't want this, we don't want this, we don't want this. We're going into this uh with the exact basic squad. Okay, can we use three power? I mean, I know we can. We could use one here. We could use three here. And then just give everybody move, I guess. Yeah. So, one, two, three. We're gonna, we're gonna drop your move for dash. We're gonna give you move. I always do this, because if Henry Kwan dies, that way we keep the plus one damage. Um, and then you are gonna also get move. So four move, five move, and three move. Let's go ahead and go to the final island and see if we can survive this time. Too bad there is an achievement for lose the final island three times in a row with the same team. Because I feel like I'm going to do that. But let's find out. Okay, don't mind this setup. These two are out in the open, but other than that, there's no way for somebody to get behind one, which is the way I always hate it. Um, I think we might be able to kill this boss by bumping him into this guy. Now, we have to be able to do it twice, which is a possibility. We do this. And then this. Then, sadly, we can't kill this guy, so we're going to be, we're going to accept two damage, and I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm cool with that. For killing the boss on the first turn, I think I'm cool with that. Okay, let's see what we can do. Guys. You can do five damage. So you can kill this guy. You can kill this guy by shooting here. You could also block this spawn, which is probably a better a better choice. So, let's actually leave you here for a second. Let's kill him. He's actually stuck, so he could actually just sit there all game. So I'm gonna kill him. And you're gonna oh block this spawn, which I'm gonna reset the turn, see if I can do this otherwise. I can. I could actually damage you. I think that's fair. Because you have to be here before you move. Oh my god, I just screwed up. I just screwed up big time. <sighs> I did it in the wrong order. You have a useless move. We're taking two more damage. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take a break after this. <laughs> I obviously should not be playing the game right now. Uh, at least this guy's going to be on fire. But this this could easily be the end of the, end of the game right there. That, that two damage could easily be more than I can sustain in the final battle. Okay. So you can murder him, but you're actually better off doing it this way. Uh, you can kill him by doing this. And then I think we're going to block a spawn. Sure that it's fine. <coughs> okay, 
one bad guy. There's no killing him with you. So you just kill him there, you repair, you repair, done. I guess you probably could have shot this, but no, there's no way to shoot it because this entire column is used up. Yeah, this guy was great. He he ate up a he ate up a spawn. Beetle leader. Hopefully, we can get this beetle to run into some fire or something. Don't like this. There's a there's a hole back here. Don't like this. Don't like this whole area here. Okay, so the beetle will kill himself if we just get out of his way, which is fine by me. Nobody can block a spawn, <laughs> which is annoying. The only spawn we can block is this one, which we don't want to block. Um, so you are going to do four damage to him, because that's your job is to, on the first turn, is to do four damage to someone. You are going to have to move somebody out of the way, and I think the correct one is him. So that you can come up here and do two damage to him. So he's going to kill himself. He's going to be on fire. And he's going to not do anything. I don't like that we didn't block a spot. That's that's very scary for, to me. We didn't block a spot. And we didn't uh, kill the boss. In the first turn. Neither of those things make me happy. This guy's going to... Oh, he was able... I was wondering if he was able to do his move. Um, even though he has no, uh, he has no, he wasn't able to make any rocks. I think that's the first time I've seen this guy not make any rocks. Okay, so you're webbed. This is a bad thing. Because if you can't move, you die. So I think we need to shoot you. With you. And I think we need to let this guy kill this thing. Which I hate. You need, to, you need to hit him. So you're going to hit him. You're going to do one damage to the bomb. You're going to hit him. He's going to go back into the fire. We're going to do two damage to that. We're going to be down to one damage. We're going to have to survive two turns without any damage being done to the grid. Which is not something I'm enjoying the concept of. <laughs> And everybody's attacking something, of course. You can't do the trick where you move two guys with one shot, because that'll push him into there. And then this one will push him into there, so that doesn't work. Um, huh. It's almost like... Oh no, this guy was standing here when he had his turn, I bet. No. I don't know why he didn't decide to go here and do his move. It's like he knows. That's weird. They're not supposed to know. Okay, you are going to hurt him. Not kill him, but hurt him. So we have four guys doing damage. One, two, three. We have three guys doing damage. One, two, three, four. You're going to take care of him, so we just have to take care of the other three. You can, oops, you can do this. Which will take care of both of these guys and give us some leeway. You could also do this, and he's doing three damage, which will kill him. So, yeah, let's do that. You're doing three damage, which will kill him. You're boosted, so boom, five damage, he's dead. Then you. actually don't have a move. We don't have any spawns this turn, too. I think we might have actually won this. Okay, you're doing three damage, which won't kill him, so if you shoot him, then that will kill him. Oh, there is one spawn. It's over here.
Okay. So survive this turn, and we don't never have to play the Rithwalkers again. Um, you're doing damage. You're doing damage. You're doing damage. We have to address all three of them, and I don't actually see a way to do that because we have to do something like this. You damage him. Yeah, we can't do it. Because we have to move those rocks out of the way before somebody can come in and push him out of the way. Can't even kill him. You're doing one damage, but that's enough. You're doing two damage. So really, we need to leave this guy alone and just hope. But actually, we can't leave him alone because you can't get up there. Yeah, we got we we have to leave somebody alone, so we're just gonna leave somebody alone. That's the way it works. You can do that. Not enough. We have a seventeen percent chance of winning the game. <laughs> and we didn't win the game. So next time. We're gonna be going back, playing Riftwalkers again. I, do, I can't remember the last time I, I lost four games in a row with the Riftwalkers. Um, I like Morgan. I do. But I think we're keeping Henry. I don't think we're keeping Ricardo's conservative. Um, just th this, this combo is great. I mean, obviously, it's been doing so great for the squad up until now, right? Um, so anyway, that's that's all we got for now, though. Um, yeah, just the way it's going to work. Uh, anyway, if you want your name on a squad, go ahead and comment on any video. You don't have to say, put my name on a squad. You don't have to comment anything in particular. Just get your comment out there, and your name will go in the hopper. If, uh, if your name's already in the hopper, it stays. Uh, I'm never going to take a name out. But if you like this video, please click like down here. If you want to subscribe, please click subscribe. I am Superfluous J, and I will, as always, talk at you later.